Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and I am back with another story time. I'm so pissed. Yes, the title is correct. I got scammed. I got $300 stolen and I'm about to tell you guys exactly what happened and it was it was uh, just hear me out. If my tongue is blue, it's because I'm drinking some Gatorade because I thought it was a smart idea <laughs> to drink some tequila yesterday and I'm not really a drinker so yeah <laughs> okay so let's get into this crazy story time on how I got scammed and they stole $300 from me so my man likes English Bulldogs so I wanted to surprise him for Father's Day and I wanted to surprise him with an English Bulldog but I made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> I went into Craigslist and I'm like, okay, like maybe they have a cheaper one here, blah, blah, blah. It's my fault. It's my fault. So I see a post and I'm like, okay, maybe this is legit. It looks pretty legit. I go ahead and email them and I have the emails and the messages and everything. I go ahead and email them and they tell me that the puppies are $600. If I want both, I can get both of them for $900 because they had a boy and a girl. So I was like, I just want the boy. They even sent me videos, pictures, and this puppy was adorable. Like colored eyes, brown. You know what? Let me show you guys. But this puppy was like super, super cute. And I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect. Like my dude's gonna love this. Well... They're like, oh, like you need to leave a, a deposit or whatever. And um, you know what? I'll just look for the picture right now. <laughs> I'll show you guys right now. But yeah, so I'm getting off track. I can't multitask right now. For some reason, I drank coffee, so I just had to focus on one thing. Does that happen to anybody else? If it happens to you, comment below. <laughs> I'm very curious to know. But anyways, they email me pictures and everything. And I'm like, this is perfect. It's just $500. I'm not planning on getting both dogs. So I was like, he's going to love it. And I wasn't even going to tell him anything. I was just going to be like, all right, here. Here's my money. Take it and go and bring my dog. <laughs> and they're, they tried telling me that, oh, they were going to ship the dog over and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just wait for it to get here. I'll just leave a deposit or whatever. And then just pay off the rest when I get it. But then I told them, like, wait, like, what state are you in? And it said Virginia. And then they were like, oh, we're in Virginia. So I was like, okay, good. Like, this doesn't look fake. So I was like, why don't I just pick up the dog? So I told them if I can pick it up. And they, they were like, at first, like, oh, you can't because of the, you know, Rona and stuff. Like, we don't want to expose my mom. So <laughs> my voice cracked. They're like, we don't want to expose my mom to it because she's sick and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, like, I understand. I, I told them, but like, what if we like distance you know do social distancing and you know like you put the dog down and the stuff and you know i'll sell you the money when we're right in front of each other and then i'll, I'll go get the dog as soon as you like move away right so that's what I, that was my brilliant plan and she's just like well she's like okay that doesn't sound too bad so she's like let me just consult my with my husband and then i'll let you know so i was like okay so she's like, okay, it's, it shouldn't be a problem. I was like, all right. So I was going to go pick up my dog. And so they're like, oh, like you need to send in a deposit. I was like, I can send you $100 right now for a deposit because it's only $500 for the dog. So I was like, 100 I mean, that's something, right? So they're like, oh, no, we're going to need 200 because of the paperwork and all this stuff. And I'm like, what the? I was like, all right, fine. So I sent them the $200. And they're like, oh, you have to send us a receipt and everything. Like, you know, like how they, the, um, Zal and stuff, like they tell you like, oh, you sent this much or whatever. They just want, wanted confirmation that I, that I sent the money. So I sent it to them and it looked very legit to me. Like it looked, it looked real. It seemed real. So I send them that and they're like, okay, perfect. Like, we'll see you like tomorrow. Cause I was like, I want to pick it up as soon as possible to surprise him. And I ended up telling him since it was like a bigger amount of money, like $500, I wanted to tell him like, hey, like, um, I, I didn't know how to tell him I'm about to spend 500 bucks on something, but just don't question me. Like, <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let me just tell him. So I told him, guess what? We're getting this. And he was just so surprised and so excited. And this is, this made me feel horrible because I'm like, wow, like, I was planning on surprising him. He was excited. I was excited. We were happy. And I told him, don't, don't, I told him, don't get too happy because what if it's a scam? And I had a gut feeling and I know I should have listened to it and I didn't. 
So I told him, you know, like it's $500. So I'm going to be sending the, I sent the deposit and I'm going to be sending the rest when we go get the dog. So he was like, all right, like it's fine. So we were going to go pick up the dog together. Like he even got off of work early. He was excited. Everything looked good. But let me tell you what I thought was sketchy. The day before we went to go get it, when I just gave my deposit, later on in the night, the girl texted me and said that supposedly they needed $100 more for to finish the paperwork and everything because it's a lot more than they thought it was going to be. So I was like, what paperwork? So I asked her, I was like, what paperwork? And they're like, oh, it's because they are um they have insurance and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I figured, I thought it made sense because English Bulldogs are expensive, you guys. Like, they're expensive. And not only that, but they get sick easily. Like, they, they so I can get why they said it had insurance or something. So they wanted to switch out, like, from their name to, like, our name so we can be the owners and all this stuff. Whatever, whatever. So in Virginia, things are different over here. So I believed it. I was like, okay. And I even asked, like, my girl group that I have with some of the girls here that I hang out with. And they were like, oh, yeah, like, sometimes they um they do that where, like, there's, um what is it called? AKC. I don't know what it's called, but it's, like, a registration thingy. I don't know. But they're like, oh, yeah, like, sometimes that's expensive. It just depends and, and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, it's believable. Then it must be legit if they're doing this. So I'm so dumb. I sent them the $100. So I ended up sending, I didn't send 100 wait. So I was going to send them 100 for the deposit. But in reality, I sent 200 because they asked for 200 I forgot to mention that detail. So I sent them $100 more. So that's $300. And so... Um, my mistake. I forgot about the numbers. <laughs> so that's what kind of like triggered my intuition and I was like, this kind of seems sketchy. Like why would I have to pay $300 for a deposit when it's like more than half of the price of the dog? So I was like, hmm. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, trust it because he really likes this dog and I was just, I just really wanted to make him happy. So I did it and then they're like, okay, like see you tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. The next day I went into work and I, and I messaged them early in the morning and I was like, oh, like I'm ready. Like, um, just confirming. I just wanted to confirm that we're going to go pick up our dog later on today. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Like, um, here's the address and this, this and that. It looks so legit. So I was like, okay. Uh, no, you guys. We went to the address and I told my dude, like, whatever happens like i'm sorry like i tried you know i mean at the end of the day it's just 300 bucks we're losing and i know it's a lot and it sucks for me it it, it sucks because i didn't get my money back and i'm actually supposed to be calling like the bank today to go see if i can like get it but i sent it through zell and i i think you're not you're only supposed to send money like that to people that you know and once it's sent you can't get it back or something but i'll find out i'm gonna have to call um, so yeah, we get there and I told him whatever happens, like, I'm sorry, like, I really, really tried, like, I, I wanted to make him happy and if that didn't work out, well then, I'm sorry. So he's like, don't worry about it, he's like, we kept in mind that it could be a scam or something, so we weren't, we weren't too, too excited that day because we were scared of what was gonna happen. We were anxious. So he gets off of the truck and he told me, like, just stay here because you never know. You never know if we can trust these people or not. So I was like, okay. So I stayed in the truck and I saw him get off and he goes to knock. A lady comes out and I'm like, oh my God, like, maybe this is real. And nope. Like, he comes back and he starts telling me, like, no, like that. The lady said that this is the second time that they sent somebody to her home saying that, like, these people come saying that they're here to buy a puppy or something. And she's just like, no, <laughs> I'm not selling puppies. So I was like, God damn it. I was like, we just got scammed. And then, yeah. So he comes back and he starts telling me that, no, like the lady says that they're scammers and all this stuff. And I was pissed, you guys. I was so excited and he got happy and I felt so guilty. I felt so bad because I know he, like, really wanted that dog. And then um, we were just disappointed and I, and I started calling the person and texting and everything and no response and I was like, what the? You would think that a scammer would block you right after, but this person didn't block me or anything and started messaging me again later on that same day saying that I'm so sorry, I didn't get to my phone on time, that she was with her mom because her mom's sick and all this stuff and she's not allowed to use a phone in that like uh, place with the doctor. 
or whatever and I'm like how oh, are you at the doctors if you're supposed to be giving us our dog so I started accusing her of being a scammer and everything and then I told her I was like I was like giving my money back like I'm gonna report you I have all your information and the bank does too because like I literally sent it to this this person that has a bank account with Wells Fargo <clears throat> so they started freaking out saying like no no like I'm, I'm sorry like uh, my husband was actually nearby and he was supposed to give you the dog we didn't give you our actual address because we were scared that um you were probably like you know people that could be dangerous or something I forgot what she said something like that and I was like so you just made us drive over there for nothing like you could have just like told us like oh I don't feel comfortable with you picking up the dog or something and we could have worked something out and she's like well we can deliver it to you I'll tell my husband to take it like he's a truck driver and all this stuff and I was like I told him I'll I'll give it a chance like tomorrow please bring the dog like you guys they, we gave them our information I'm not even worried because we're living inside of the base here so I'm not worried because nobody can get through that base without an ID like a military ID so they had our information like our address the name number everything so i was just like oh my god and then they're like oh like we're gonna um go drop it off tomorrow i'm so sorry this is this and that and i was like okay fine like i'll be waiting so the next day i even like messaged them to confirm again and i was like are you sure like are you sure because i really really want the puppy and then they're like yeah yeah like he's gonna go and all this stuff and i was like okay so we said 6, 6.30, um, nothing, no one showed up after that, they didn't respond anymore. So I was like, yep, they stole $300. And yeah, you guys, that is how I got scammed like two or three weeks ago. And I'm so mad about it. And yeah, you guys, no dog, no money. We're just like, you know what, maybe it wasn't meant to be. We know that everything happens for a reason. So yeah, guys, that's how I got scammed with $300 that I'm just never gonna get back. I'm gonna try to report it right now, see if like they can do something about it or send it back. But if they can't, well. So yeah, ladies, that is the end of this story. I was gonna be doing my makeup while I told you guys the story, but then I was like, no, because I kind of want to like focus on it and I can't multitask when I drink coffee and I'm talking because I just go on and on and on and on so I can't multitask so I was like let me just like get ready first I'm filming for Instagram which by the way follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see my mini tutorials but yeah I was like let me just film for Instagram and then I'll film for YouTube while I already have my makeup done so that I don't have to be struggling with the multitasking <laughs> but yeah you guys that is the end of the story uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please leave a comment down below if you watched it all the way through. If you watched this video all the way through, you need to comment... Hmm... Puppy. You need to comment puppy <laughs> in the comments so that I know that you're a real one. And thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!